Hey everyone and welcome back to the episode of The Life of Brian. We're back and we're going to be showing you something special. It's Mike Lane from MikeLaneMods.com. It's his decal pack 3. So here are all the decals that you'll get in decal pack 3. There's quite a number to be added to the car so we'll get started and I'll show you where each one of these is going to go. So this is what I love again in Mike's decals and that the attention to detail that he's been put into these. Just a little pull in case of emergency, and that's just going in on here. So, just bring this up, up here, and that's just going to go in here onto the handle. With that in, we're just going to push that down. And look, it's just a, such a tiny little change, what makes such a big difference to what we're building here. Let's move on. Next we've got this little one here. And this is actually just to go on this torpedo tube here. So just along here around the center. So you just kind of get that, you know, as straight as possible. Um, so we'll put that end on there. And we'll just flatten that one down on there as well. And that just adds that bit of detail to that tube as well. Awesome, I'm loving these. This here on the tip of my finger is the one that we're putting in next. Now this is just going to go in this bottom corner of the window here. So what you want to do is to kind of bring it in with your finger. Now I did just lift my finger and give it a bit of a sort of adheres to my finger a bit better. So what you want to do is try and it's just to bring it in bottom corner. Now I just want to straighten this up on my I'll give it a twist on my finger so it's not exactly straight on my finger. So I bring it in and put it in straight on the window like that. Just get that pressed down. Probably could do with being a little bit lower, but you know what? I'm quite happy with that. Let's move on to some more window ones. This is our next stick, I'm just on the tip of my finger there. And what we're going to be doing, it's again, just like the window one we've just done in the front, it's going to go in the back here, and also another one just on the back side of that window there as well. So I should bring my finger in, stuck my finger, bring it in the window, get that placed in there. One more to do, got the second one, so we're going to do exactly the same, bring it under here. Find you want to get right in the corner if you can, back corner as far as down as you can. And you're just going to press that on that window as well. So that's your window stickers in there as well, just like you had in the front. So you've got the two here. I could have probably spent a little bit more time and got them a little bit straighter, but I love the additional look they're giving, just of detail on those windows. You'll do exactly the same with two stickers on the other door as well, but I just want to show you this one. You're going to concentrate still around the doors. I'm just going to put this one in here and this just goes on here. You just get that nice purchase on there. And just inside there, the word catalyst you'll see is at the bottom of that. Just make sure that is at the base of there. So we'll just give that a push on there and that's that one done. So this is the area we're going to be concentrating on now, just this bit that's going to be the engine cover. It is the engine cover, just no engine there for it to cover at the moment. As I said before, my car's in two parts as I've been doing some repairs on the doors. So yeah, that's why you're not seeing my full car together. It probably is a little bit easier for me getting some of these stickers in place because my car is in two parts. I do understand that it might be a little trickier to get some of these places if your car is all together and you're on this set. But the set itself is absolutely exemplary. Mike's done an amazing job. So let's get these next stickers in. Next stick that's going in is this little one here, and it's just uh, really sort of a look at the engine, uh, the vacuum hose routing by the looks of it. So what we'll do, get this stuck in. Now this one's gonna go in this section here, so just use, anyway, I'm gonna just use that line for me to put that in. So we'll just fire that down, stick that one down so that one's in there like that. Two more going in here and this is the next one, just sort of the car information and that's gonna go inside this box here. So I'm just gonna try and get this sort of central-ish. We'll just in there, oh, not that. Not very straight at all, was it? So we'll try and line that up a bit better. That's yeah, pretty good. That one goes in there like that. Let's say we've got one more now. So the last one going in here, this is important. This vehicle is negative earth. And this is going to go in this panel in here. So really anywhere you want that to go in there. So I'm just going to pop mine about there. Centralish, just underneath the one above. And that's those three stickers in there. We're going to stay in the engine bit area for the next two decal stickers as well. Next one we're doing is this jump lead starting tips, I guess. And this is going to go in this little curved area here, so I'm just going to bring this in. Actually, I might just move those to the top. 
just touching on the tweezers there so not really on but you know so you can kind of get an idea where you're going get that sort of straight in there doesn't have to be perfect <laughs> nothing on my car is so <laughs> i'll put that in there as well the sticker the decal is is perfect just not my placement all the time but that one is in there so next one it's actually just a sticker about coolant it says coolant fluid in the middle of it so we're going to take this over and this just goes sort of across here about halfway so down just give that a press down if you just get some in there make sure that's all fire down over that as well so that is sort of this area all done now we're gonna go to the other end of the car, open the bonnet, we've got some things to put in there. So we're down at the front end of the car, around the bonnet. So what we're doing now is just adding some extra details inside of here. So the first two stickers we're gonna be adding are going literally just above here on the sort of flat, above this part here. This first sticker that we're gonna be putting in is a warning about the putting only unleaded petrol in the car. So that's gonna go just above this little cap here. So we'll bring that down. Again, just lining it up round about where you want it and then just press that down on there like that one in and then we have this warning sticker and that's going to come in and again just go by the side of that really just next to it on there so i'm going to bring that in as well just on there and then fire that one down as well give it a bit of a press so they're both in there as well we do have another one of those warning stickers and that's actually going to go just here in front of this little cap here so there's a little cap there in front of the tire that's going to go just in front of it so we're going to bring this one in and we're going to bring it to this and i just want to get it just in front of there really so if i can get one in sort of down about there that'll actually do lovely and just put that down on there as well it's a bit dark in there so I do apologize if you can't quite see that but you can just see it's the same as this one that we put in here just in front of that cap there as well Next one we're doing is just this one here. You'll know which one it is. It's got the little picture of the car in the middle, and it's actually just going to go just here on the front of here, sort of, sort of as central as you can get it, really. Uh, and try and keep it straight as another thing as well. So I'll just try and get that one on as close as you can get it, really, to being straight. Eh, not really straight, but in there like that as well that's that one done we've got one more to go in here final sticker is this one here it's about a coolant reservoir all it's going to do is go in behind this bit that's holding up the the bonnet there and just against there so you want to kind of get that as straight again as you can not easy i guess on all these things some people are probably easier i'm just going to put that in there myself so i'm just blocking that for now i'm just going to plunk that on there and fire it down so it is in there just behind there and that's the decals for this part of the car, all done. Moving on, we are getting to our last couple of decals now. So what we need to do, this area here is where we're going to be doing So These wires that are down, if you can just pop them up so they're out of the way, because where we're going to be concentrating is this little triangle area here. And all we're going to be doing is adding a little bit of detail to it. So you can just see there that we're going to be adding this to the side, just that triangle part, just a little bit of added detail on there, not massive amounts, but just a little bit on there. So we're just going to try and line this up best we can. And then once that's in there, just give that a push down. With that in place, after you've pressed it down, just add a tiny little bit of detail to the end of that. So you can, once that's done, just pop your wires back down and obviously pull that sticker in. Just push that back up into place, just like that. And your wires back over there as well. We do have one on the other side as well, so I'll flip that round. Now this is the one we're doing over here, so obviously this has got a lot more wires and things around it, so it might prove a bit tricky to get this one in, if you can at all. So I'm going to give that a try now, because I'm not removing anything to kind of put these decals in place. So if I can get it in, great. If not, it's no massive loss, to be honest. Just pull those out of the way enough. Oh, here we go. And just pull the wires back a little bit more. Right, that is just sat inside there now. It's not pressed on, so I'm just going to bring in my tweezers and just get in there. Right. 
Right, that one is on there as well. That was a bit trickier to see because of all the wires around and surrounding. Pull them back over there like so. But that is that one on there as well. One of the upsides to kind of doing this and my car being behind with these decal packs is all these parts aren't the car. So sometimes it makes it a little bit easier to show you. So this one here, just pick this up. Again, not attached to the car yet, but you will see these areas here. Uh, just with the plain silver, just cut out there, sort of indentations. Now, what Mike has applied is this. Now, you can just about see those little cutouts there, and there are the stickers inside. They're going to go inside each of these just to make those stand out a lot more along the back line there. So let's get the first one off. So we'll just show you that there. That is the sticker off there. So they are really delicate, so you're going to be really careful with these. And so we're going to get this. I'm going to take it in. I'm just going to try and make sure we get that fitted in there. Right to the end. Because oh. the indentation, what I might just have to do, just so it sticks down and it's not going anywhere, because obviously my finger's not going in there really and holding that in place. So I'm just going to pull that in to it right at the end. I'm just going to put my screwdriver on it. And then just push that into place. So that is how that one now looks. You can see the difference that makes just on the back there. So now we need to do the other ones. Let's get them in. So once the sticker's going in, the decal, then push it down so it's held in place. Then there. Like that. There we go. Gonna press that down so as you can see it is quite delicate to get that in there so just be careful we'll get those all pressed in i'll just do the other ones now so that's those in there all eight look really great they make that area really stand out really pops on there quite tricky i found that quite difficult to get those all in and placed in but worth taking your time over the last couple of decals that we're going to be doing now first one of these is going inside here in the engine itself and it's just going on the center of here so it's going to come across under here and then just again press that down onto there like that so that's in there that's the only one we're going to be doing inside the engine bay itself so i've got the car inside because we have a decal to go under here as well so it's it's a warning about the radiator fans uh that is it here and where it's going to go just above that screw there is where it needs to be placed so i'm just going to bring this in take that off now it's not a straight area it's not flat it's kind of a curved -y, bumpy area but that will just go inside there like that any of these that I wouldn't be putting on my car to be honest this might be the one because it's gonna be seen by so few people it's kind of there I love the fact it's been made that Mike's done it that they've gone out and put this in here that's something someone may never ever see as part of this model unless they lift it up and look at the bottom which is gonna be a very rare occasion but yeah that one's in there as well now we have the last sticker of Mike Lane's decal pack three we have the top of the engine cover now I'm just about to do the actual issue so I thought I'd get this on right now so it is going on here where you see we've got the DMC logo but the one Mike has produced is a much bigger nicer looking logo to go over the top so I'm guessing the one here isn't to the right size but you can now use that as a guide so you want to cover that sticker entirely using the back the, like the bottom of it as the guide of where that's going to go and that's just going to go over there so you want to cover that fully and then that's just going to go onto there like that covering up the old sticker and then look at that big dmc logo you've got on there if you open up that car so that's great that is the last sticker of my then we're in our final modification for decal pack three now what you need to do is going to be adding these here and all they are is surrounds for the actual back of the headlights it'll go down there just to give it the look that the actual car had and not just this silver bit here so what you need to do is to get this in, this needs to come out, or at least be loosened off, but I'll take mine out because obviously I haven't done it yet, so that's great. So what you'll do, if you look at these, you'll see there's a little tiny, i just lift it up there, you can see there's a little silver spot right at the base of that, and that's to indicate that's turned that to the bottom one. So what you're gonna do is just lay it over there, just make sure it's nice and on there, and that's right in the center of the two lights on there. And these aren't adhesive, they just sit inside of there. And you're gonna grab the second one, and do exactly the same so just lay this in now these are cut really well at the size so as long as you get that right 
and set that around there you should be absolutely spot on when your lights go in there then what you're going to do is to bring back in the dmc logo and what that's going to do it's obviously going to pin that down because part of it is then behind that then what we need to do is fasten back the dmc logo and obviously add the lights and everything back for this part of the build once the lights are in there, that is how the decal will look around the lights, the surround on there, just carrying on that black in between all the lights, which looks really great. As you've seen with all these decals in the decal pack, they look amazing, just tiny little additions sometimes, but makes such a big difference. Again, these are all available at MikeLaneMods.com. Get yourself over there, pick up some modifications for your car, make this thing look absolutely perfect. I know we're spending enough on this car to start with, but really they do enhance the look of it. Again, that's MikeLaneMods.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, this has been the life of Brian.